my name is Emma, this is Emma Rosen Books. I make videos about writing, reading, other bookish things, the odd vlog. If you're not already a subscriber and you like that kind of thing, please do consider subscribing. I appreciate all of my subscribers so much. Um, in today's video, I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm in a different place. I'm It's sat in my dining room and I've got these curtains closed because then you'd be able to see my messy garden and the kids running around. So let's not do that. And I've got a creaky chair, but hey. Um, in today's video, I wanted to do a bit of crafting. I thought I would show you how to make these cute little book hedgehogs. Um, the reason that I make these is, or well have started making these, is that sometimes I sell my books at craft fairs and so I thought as well as having my books out I'd have some sort of bookish crafts and I'd give that a go. So that's why I started making these. Um, so in order to make these you need a book that you don't want anymore. You also can need to have a knife, I'll explain why, but sort of just a flat Something flat, you could probably use quite a sharp ruler, just something, but yeah, these kind of fairly blunt knives work quite well, <laughs> we're waving a knife around. Scissors can come in handy, good to have those. Um, and then any embellishments you want, so I've got some buttons, some ribbon, and a hot glue gun is handy too for those embellishments. So I am going to show you how to make a hedgehog with a, a hedgehog with a flat bum. There are other versions where you can give them a little bit of a rounded bum. You can look those up if you fancy doing that. Basically, you just need to do a fold at the back. I did have a go at doing one where you do the same fold at the back that you do on the front, and I ended up with this fella who I've put the embellishments on because my daughter wanted to have this one, um, but I don't personally like the way that it looks when the fold is the same at the back as at the front but you know each to their own so that's what happens if you do that but you can do it where it's like a shallower fold anyway you can look those up and see if you want to do it a different way you can also find versions where they have little paws you can also find ones where they have little ears so you know there's a whole load of variety if you fancy but i'm kind of going to keep it simple um i'm probably going to add uh, some more embellishments i need to make some things which is why they haven't got more on. Um, I fancy making some little glasses for this one. You can see all sorts of ideas online, um, but uh, yeah, I might start making like little hats and flowers and stuff. One of the things that I like about this craft is that it's a second-hand thing. So you can use old books, you can go to the charity shop for them, you can use old books of your own if they've just got a bit tatty and you don't want to um, read them. And um, you can use old buttons. I mean, for me, like, I've got loads of old buttons, but, you know, you don't need to buy anything. And these are old bits of ribbon that goodness knows where I've got that from. You know, so you can make it all out secondhand stuff. So it's like a um, re recycling, not recycling, re I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it's, it's a project that is using reused things. Brilliant. So, <laughs> choose a book that you're not going to read, um, or you've already read, or for whatever reason you're not keeping. What I would have a check of is that the, although some of the pages would be okay because you're folding them, but make sure that there's not too much like damage or discoloration. A bit is okay um, for it to be a bit yellowy, but some books I've got, uh, I've got like, you know, when they start to look like a bit moldy from being on your shelves. So if there's too much discoloration, if they're too old, probably not gonna be able to use that or if the spine is really, really damaged. Now, ideally you probably want a book that's about 100 to 150 pages if you've got one that's longer, then you just split it up. So, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get one hedgehog or three out of this. So, I think I'm gonna just wait and see, see how far I get and then make a decision about how many I'm gonna get out of the book. So the first thing you wanna do is take the cover off. It feels so weird, especially as a writer, to destroy books, but, but there we are, so <coughs> take your cover off and chuck that away. So then you have just a book. You might want scissors for that kind of thing. Oh, another thing that I wanted to say is that have a look at actually what's on your pages. I've had it before where it's got pictures don't really work well or if it's got lots of um, quite, uh, I don't know, anything that's quite bold or stylistic like on, on titles or sometimes they have like lines across at the top. Do you know what, like anything that would show up on your hedgehog and look a bit weird. So just bear that in mind. Anyway, so, so the first thing that you do is I sometimes rip off the first few pages. If they're things that, um, this one had like a title page and you know, some bits, pictures and stuff. So that you're starting with just text. Then it's quite simple. All you need to do is Take your first page, fold it inwards, down to the spine like so. And then, 
pick this part and fold that down to the spine, like so. The reason that you've got a knife is um, particularly as you get further on into the book, you can get quite hard to get that page in to the spine, so you can just use that to sort of push it in. Be careful, obviously, that you don't cut the spine. Um, and you can make sure that that fold stays nice and tight, otherwise you'll find that the nose starts to look a bit odd. So um, there are versions where you fold the back of that in order to get a rounded bum. You can look that up. There are also versions where you have like ears and feet and all that kind of stuff. So you can look up different ways of doing it. But yeah, this is just the simple fold. Um, and then you just stick some music on and get on with folding the rest of the book. Now, if you find that one of your pages looks slightly out of place, you can just go back to it. This one's a bit wonky. Make sure it's folded correctly. Correct the fold. It will look fine. Just go back. You know, you'll be able to see if any of them sort of stick out or look a bit weird. probably about halfway through taking shape. Um, it starts to get harder as you get further through it, but I mean, it's still not difficult. <laughs> so I can't really fold this in a way that you can see. I'm sorry that it's sort of, all you can see is the book, but um, I can't really angle this. I can't fold it if I angle it in a way that you can see. So I'm really, really sorry, um, but it is just the same fold over and over again. So just folding front in. See, I find it really awkward if I do it so you can see. And then folding the top down. So that's all it is. But if it faces me, I can get it a bit more accurate. You'll notice that um, the nose starts to not look so tight. So that's why you might need that knife if you're struggling to get that sort of corner in nice and tight. It can be a bit tricky. Now I've got to 100 pages and I don't feel that's enough so I am going to do half the book, I'm going to do 150 to see how you feel, it might depend on the weight of the paper a little bit as well but as you can see I don't feel like that's quite enough for a chunk yet. Okay, so I've got to the last page, I think. I've done 150 pages, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, you can give it a bit of a squidge if you want, but I think that that's just about gonna make a good hedgehog. You'd be surprised once it fans out. It's not quite straight. Right, so I wanna save one more page and then I'm gonna cut the rest of the book away. So this is why it's handy to have some scissors. Try to break it too much. I should have done this beforehand. It is easier to 
to decide beforehand how many pages you want to do and then divide the book because I'm actually going to lose a couple of pages here, I think. I inadvertently damaged that page but it's okay. So um, I'm going to go back to the last page that I made and what I'm going to do is fold it the other way because what you want is your pages on either side to be folded like so. Oh, I don't know, maybe this one should have had a few more pages in. Well, never mind, you get the idea. So, you've made your little hedgehog. There's a few of these pages that need adjusting. A little bit, but actually that's pretty cute. Yeah, it needed another few pages, but that's, that's as it is. So yeah, maybe a few more than 150 pages. Anyhow, then what you do, when you're happy with how that's come out, is you get your hot glue gun and you can choose some buttons. I'm going to make this one up later. So you could choose a good nose, like so, and some matching eyes, and just hot glue gun any pieces that you want to have on it. and. Then any other things, if whoops, if you want to have a bow or a little hat or you know whatever it is that you want, then you can add those pieces on. Um, and equally, if you want to do paws, if you want to do little ears, um, I've rushed this one a little bit because I'm filming this during the day and I've got like <laughs> the kids running around and what have you. But yeah, you know, you can take your time and mix exactly how you want it, and then it can be a little bookcase friend, or it can be. Um, as I say, something that you sell and make, but then, you know, I need to take a bit more time over it and make them exactly right. So, uh, what was I going to say? There was one more thing I was going to say. Um, oh, yes. Another thing that you can do if you want to, because underneath what you get is a fold. I'll show you on one of these that have got more pages in. You get um, the spine kind of disappears inside it. Um, and then if you wanted and haven't decided yet whether I'm going to add this you can put a piece of card on the bottom so that instead of that book sitting directly down you could have a piece of card but um, I haven't decided yet whether I like the look of that so you can do that um, I'm going to be able to get another hedgehog out of the back of that book I may or may not use this one he needs more pages I feel sad for him um, anyway it's a good way to repurpose books if, if you want to do that um, and uh, have a bit of fun, be a bit creative. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed that um, and got an idea of something that you could make um, and make some new friends for yourself. <laughs> so please like if you did um, and comment and subscribe and all that stuff. I hope you're having a lovely time and I will see you all soon. Take care.